Shri Krishna Vadisha Yatishvarapyam Samprapta Chakrankana Basisaram Sri Nut Narangindraya Tao Samapitisvam Sri Krishna Mayam Guru Vayamide Verhote Kartike Mase Shatatara Krithodayam Yogacharyam Krishna Mayam Guru Vayamahambhaje Sri Krishna Macharya Namaha Om Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Punaktu Sahavyat Yam Kara Favahai Ejat Bhitavadhi Tamas Dukma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 So please mark me, when you stand with your heels very light, soft on the ground, so your, the body's weight is through the front of the foot and your toes active, your knees a little micro bend, all the joints soft, your sternum high to the roof, like a spring on top of your head, stretching the whole body skyward, sternum high. Would you inhale, come up and look up and see the hand, see the hand, then exhale, arms come down. Let me hear your inhale, the sound of the ocean. Ujjayi, inhale, look up, see the hands, shoulders soft, and exhale, arms come down. Strengthen the base on the exhale. Inhale, chest opens. Inhale from above, and exhale from below. Let the breath envelop the movement. Two more breaths. Let the breath start and end the movement. Pause after inhale and pause after exhale. And one more inhale from above and go into a forward bend, exhale, soften the knees a little bit and the neck and inhale the way you went, down, come up again, see the hands, start to exhale before you move deep, forward bend, pause after exhale and let the inhalation bring you up. Two more breaths like that. Start the exhale before you move. Four parts of the breath. And don't make your neck bring you up. Just let the breath bring you up. Your neck soft. And one more time. Now stay in that forward bend, Uttanasana. Keep the weight through the front of the foot. Toes active. A nice relationship between your fingers your toes that have been friends on the same body forever since they get awesome and some perceptible movement as you breathe inhale you ease the forward bend exhale deepen forward bend inhale ease the forward bend and exhale deepen. good perceptible movement of the body as you breathe once more inhale open the chest Ease, exhale, good. And on your next inhale, come back up again, right up. Look up and see the hands, gentle, soft shoulders, hands to your heart, exhale. And come to the front of your mat. Good. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, deep forward bend. Stride one leg back, a good strong stride, one metre back, equal weight through both feet, inhale, come up. Your hands moving in a circle like a yantra. Exhale, circle. Abdominals lift in and up, equal weight through both feet. Two more breaths, moving. And in the moving aspect of the asana, you establish the length of the breath. And in the stationary aspect, you're coming up now into the stationary aspect and stay. Three breaths, inhale above, open the chest, exhale, abdominal strong from the base. Feel slightly more back arch on inhale, more strength through the feet, the legs and abdominals on the exhale. One more inhale, 
pause and exhale come down forward bend and stride forward after exhale abdominals in and up stay one inhale and one exhale and inhale the breath brings you back up right up look up see the hands and hands to your heart beautiful unitary movement of body mind and breath resting breath let your heart beat and your breath return to normal however long that takes maybe somebody it might be 10 seconds somebody else 30 seconds heart beating breath returns to normal and on your next inhale come on up and we'll do the other side exhale forward bend stride one meter back keep equal weight through both feet inhale come on up. not more than 90 degrees on the forward knee continue exhale down and pause and the arms bring you up inhale and the dynamic aspect of the asana we establish the length of the breath that stays the same in the stationary aspect so we'll stay there now three four breaths inhale slightly increase the back arch keep the shoulders dropped and soft and spacious more strength through your feet your legs your abdominals pause after exhale pause after inhale very nice some perceptible movement as the whole body breathes and once more inhale above pause start the exhale before you move forward bend come down and stride forward after exhale stay one inhale and one exhale inhale come on up um, bring you up bring your hands to the heart and resting breath heart beat and breath return to normal now take a big stride sideways on your mat and we're going to do trikonasana inhale open your arms equal weight through both feet exhale bring the opposite hand outside and look at the hand above beautiful and inhale come on up pause at the top exhale to the other side you can slightly soften the knee that the trunk moves towards see the hand inhale come on up. the body movement is the breath movement The breath movement is the body movement. Two more breaths. Four parts of the breath. Pause at the top. Pause at the bottom. All right, now you stay there. Inhale, ease that twist. Slightly look down and on exhale, strengthen the neck and look up. Inhale, ease to receive the inhale, open the chest. Exhale, deepen the twist from the abdominals in and up. And inhale, come all the way back up again. Head lower to the heart and Jalandhara Bandha. Exhale to the other side. Pause up to exhale the abdominals in and up in Bandha. And stay three easy breaths. Perceptible movement of the body as you breathe. Inhale from above, ease the twist. And exhale, deepen the twist. Good. On your next inhale, come all the way up. Head lower to the heart and exhale forward bend. Touch both feet as the counter pose and stay three breaths. Inhale upper chest, pause, exhale deeper. You can keep the chin tucked into the lifted chest in Jalandhara. And exhale the abdominals flatten in and up. Mula Bandha, Udhyana Bandha. One more. Acceptable movement as you breathe. And the inhale will bring you up again. Head lower to the heart and hands to your heart. Exhale. And soften the hridaya, the seat of the mind, the place where all opposites originate from and return to the heart, the place where the inhale meets the exhale. Where strength is perfectly receiving 
the giving and receiving of life, the nurturing force of all life. From, the, from your heart, the nurturing power of life flows in all directions, like a flower blooming as the whole body. Beautiful. And please face this way. Inhale, arch, come on up. Exhale, forward bend. And walk both feet back into Adha Mukta Svanasana and inhale, knees to the floor into Chakra Pakasana and exhale down into a beautiful child pose, release. And inhale, come back up again into Chakra Pakasana. Exhale, Adha Mukta Svanasana. Good, and flow with that above to below. Inhale above, exhale from below. And one more cycle, inhale from above, exhale from below, flowing with your breath, so beautiful. Once more, inhale, chakra bakasana, flowing, exhale the child pose, and release. Sink into the floor, sink into your life. Sink into Mother Earth, the beauty that is life itself. Give over to the life that is given to you. Give to the one who gives to you this abundance of life, this beauty of life. And observe the natural breath moving. Observe the heartbeat. Observe the natural rhythms of this beautiful, wonder, full life, life that is full of wonder, full of power, full of beauty, full of harmony. You feel the natural harmonies you have with the whole cosmos, with air and light and the water and the green realm and the male-female collaboration, which is the nurturing power of life itself, given to those opposites. And on your next inhale, stand on the knees, lift your arms to the roof, right up, pause, exhale, back into child pose. And now you'll come into Bhujang Asana, into beautiful cobra-like, and exhale, stay. Flatten the abdominals, pause after exhale, inhale, increase the back arch, not with your arms, just with the breath. Press the knees on the floor and go back into child pose. And the arms to the roof come up. Pause at the top. And exhale back into child pose. Four parts of the breath. The body movement is the breath movement. Flow through the Bhujanasana. The breath envelops the movement. The inhale is from above as receptivity, exhale from below. Press the knees on the floor and flow back. And just flow with that. Inhale, flowing up. The arms bring you up, the breath brings you up. Exhale, flow down, abdominals in and up. And flow forth into Bhujangasana. Strong exhale, stay. Inhale, increase the back up just with the breath. And exhale, press the knees on the floor, glide back. And one more time, arms to the roof, inhale. And hands to your heart, exhale, soft hands in the heart. The place where the inhale meets the exhale. The hridaya, the place where strength is utterly receptive. That perfect union that is life itself perfect union that brought you here in the first place in the abundance of life, the pure intelligence that is life, and the unspeakable beauty that is all of life. All of us, in the beauty that is life itself. Good, and lie on your back and hold the knees. One hand on each knee, 
nice rest, the tummy abdominals folded in. And on inhale, lift the arms over the head, arch the back, pause, and exhale, come on down, hold the knees, push the breath out with that lovely fold of the legs into the abdominals. And inhale, arch, come up. Two breaths, moving like that, pause at the top. And deep exhale, abdominals roll in and up. Pause. And one more, inhale, come on up. And stay above. Exhale, flatten the abdominals. Pause after exhale. Inhale, increase the back up. Exhale, flatten the base. Universal back care practice for all the people who have to sit in office desks. Strengthening the abdominals, balancing the abdominals with the lower back muscles. Opening the chest. Pause after inhale, pause after exhale. Increase the back arch on inhale. Increase the pause after inhale. And exhale, come down, hold the knees. Fold the abdominals in and up with the knee movement. And rest. If you rest with your legs above the trunk like that, very calming on the nervous system, very restful for the cardiovascular. Very good for the organs of the body to be relieved of the constant downward pressure of gravity. So for most of the people of the world, this is a very suitable inversion. Limbs above the trunk, very helpful to help. A little bit of moving and breathing, and then resting as the whole body with the legs up like this. Very calming to the, to the life. Very good for the cardiovascular system and the lymph system and the organs to be relieved of that constant downward pressure of gravity. So we pause for a little moment like this. And now stretch out into full Shavasana. Turn your palms up. Let your attention scan the body. Observe each part and release each part of the whole body to the whole body. Like each finger given over to the hand, each arm given over to the whole body, each leg given to the whole body. The whole head given to the whole body. Let, let everything be in the quality of stillness. Let stillness be the context of the whole body. Everything is happening in stillness. Even the thoughts you have, sounds you hear, birds singing, even the traffic noise, everything happening in stillness. Please notice there is a great power in that stillness. Your life is a pure intelligence. The body is pure intelligence. Everything is happening in stillness and Mother Earth, the trees, the skyline, the mountain, the oceans. Please notice that the stillness and natural light is the stillness in the body. The beauty in the natural world is the beauty of the body, of all life, of every one. It's arising in that beauty. So you can stay for as long as you wish, but just to conclude this lesson, well, you gently roll to one side and come into a sitting position. And 
And just continue to rest sitting for a moment with your wrists on the knees, sternum high, head lower to the heart. Let your attention drop to the heart. Visualize the eight petaled lotus, the blooming of the heart in all directions. Like flower petals, the way the prana moves, the way the nurturing force of life moves in all directions from the heart, the center of the whole body, the center of the body's symmetry. Like the spirals of flower petals, the pranas flow in all directions in the beauty and the power, the healing, the nurturing that is life here on earth. And thank you for demonstrating this mountain to all the people. Thank you so much in this sacred place. Thank you, Martin.